In the largest polling unit in Nigeria, on the 11th of November 2023, the current governorship election in Imo, Bayasa and Kogi is much anticipated as Nigerians are eager to witness how INEC would conduct these elections without compromise compared to its performance in the past. Ganaja LEA Primary School in Kogi State happens to be the largest polling unit in Nigeria with over 13,000 registered voters. This local government is in great contention between the top three governorship candidates. In the November 11th election in Kogi State, they are Dino Milai of the PDP, Usman Ododo of the APC, and SDP's Muritala Jaka. Ganaja is a village in Ajaukuto local government area of the state, an urban area like major cities in Nigeria. It may interest you to know that winning in Ganaja would likely give an edge to these governors and governorship candidate to win at the Kogi elections. INEC has currently deployed three additional beavers machines to Ganaja so as to help for easy electoral process. Statistics from the state has it that the SDP candidate Murita Lajaka is the favorite candidate for the governorship post. He is loved by the people and has become a popular candidate. All things being equal, Murita Lajaka would win the elections. However, knowing how tough Kogi is during elections and how mean the governor could be, that is Yayabelo, it is likely that the Nigerian factor would be employed which is sabotaging the efforts of the empire or an outright rigging of the election in collaboration with INEC and the police force. Ajaka, who spoke during an interview on Channel Television's Politics Today, said the people of Kogi State are with him and will vote his party into office. He says, I'm the most popular candidate in the state. By the grace of God, the people are with me. By November 11th, I'm going to win the election, he said on Tuesday. That is why he, that is Governor Yabelo, is after me. He knows his candidate is not popular. His candidate is part of the problem. He accused the Kogi State Governor of imposing a former Auditor General of Local Government in the state, Ahmed Ododo, as the flag bearer of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, over an alleged deal. Although Ajaka did not throw more light on the supposed deal, he claimed that civil servants in Kogi as well as citizens of the state are against the APC candidate. According to him, outgoing Governor Bello is nursing a presidential ambition in 2007, hence his decision to foist Ododo on the people. The civil servants in the state are against his candidate. Virtually everybody in the state is against the candidate. He is the one putting his candidate because of the deal they have, Ajaka added.